Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to make a little money wallet today, or money folio, whatever what you, what you want to call it, doesn't matter. But um, you're going to start out, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is eight and a half by five and three quarters, and then a piece of pattern paper that is eight and a quarter by five and a half. Now this is from our new paper collection from Prima, it's called Spring Farmhouse. I love the gold foil in this, and it has a little bit of that pink in those flowers, so that's what we're going to bring out in the background. Now, this is a directional paper, so I need to decide my little lip that's going to fold over. I need to decide how I want that to show, and of course, I want my writing to show, so this is going to be my front side right here. So, we're going to go ahead and round these corners. And I'm using my uh, corner rounder on the half inch side. And I'm going to round these corners with the same one. There we go. And then you want to put it together just like that. I'm going to trim off just a little bit right here. This is a quick and easy project, but it is so, so pretty. So that's how you want to put it together right there. So I'm going to, and I've got my scoreboard behind here because we're going to be doing some scoring. So I just left it laying out. But that's not too distracting. We're going to go ahead and put this together. I'm using my art glitter glue. Use any type of adhesive that you want, but it needs to be a strong adhesive that's going to hold it and not let it, you know, bubble up or anything like that. You need to make sure you get a good coverage on it. Okay. So we should have just a little bit on all sides. Press that down really, really well. Okay. Now you're going to flip it over and lay it in your scoreboard. And you're going to have the rounded end down here because you need. This is going to need to be our front. So put the rounded end to the right. And you're going to score at three inches, and you're going to need to press firmly, or as I do, I score two or three times in the same place. That way, I get that first run, and then I just kind of ease my way down. And then you're going to score at three and three-eighths, so that's just three little marks. Oops, see, I didn't press firmly enough. Three little marks up from where you scored the last time. And then you're going to go down and you're going to score at six and a half. So six and one half. And then you're going to score at six and five eighths. So that's that next little tick mark. So you're scoring at every eighth of an inch on this end. And it's a little bit harder to score because you, you're going through those two thicknesses. But it can be done. You just have to kind of take your time. Then score at the next tick mark, which is six and three quarters. And then the next one, which is six and seven eighths. There we go. I flip it over and just make sure that you can see those score lines on this side and I can so that's good I'm gonna lay this aside for a minute you're gonna need two pieces that are cut at two and seven eighths by three and you're gonna lay the three inch side up. you're gonna lay the three inch side up at the top of your scoreboard and you're gonna score at every three-eighths of an inch. Now, if you are if you have a scoreboard like I do, 
that is, it counts on the eighth. So that's one eighth, two eighth, three eighths. Every tick mark is an eighth. So if you can just count it, or I will write the measurements down and put them all over on my blog if you don't want to count. I just kind of count and go through. Sometimes it's easier for me to count them than it is to kind of look for that next inch. There we go. So I've got those scored, and then I already did my other one. So I've got two of them scored like that. Then you need a piece, this is for the belly band. Now if you don't want to put a belly band on yours, you can close it with Velcro, with uh, ribbon, uh, a magnet, just whatever you want. But I'm going to close mine with the belly band because I think it's cute. So this is one inch by eight inches. On the eight inch side, well let's do this first. Put it on the one inch side and I'm, we're going to do a little bit of embossing. Just go to that little bitty tick mark right before, or right, yeah, right before the one inch, and just run a little line all the way down that. That's gonna do a little bit of embossing on this, and then I flip it around and I do the same thing on the other side. And I'll show you in just a second. Or you can put this in an embossing folder, but you see those lines? It puts that little line on there, and that just gives you a little bit of decoration on this. Then put it back in your scoreboard on the 8 inch side, and you're going to score at 2 inches and at 2 and a half. Then you're going to score at 5 and 5 eighths, that's that mark right after the 1 half, and at 6 and 1 eighth. That's the mark right after six. So that is two, two and a half, five and five eighths, and six and one eighth. So there's your belly band. And as you can see, when you fold it up, there we go. That's our little belly band. Well, this side's not folded right. Hold on. I'm just folding it up with my fingers right now. There we go. There's our belly band. So we'll lay that aside. I think that is all of our scoring. So let's lay that down. We're gonna go back to this and go ahead and fold. Now I'm not going to use my bone folder because you just want to slowly crease this. You don't want to crack any of your paper. So just crease it over just slightly. There we go, just a light crease, because you want it to kind of be like that. And then at the top, you want to, that first score line at the top, you kind of want to fold it over. And then I take just my brush handle, and I put it in there, and I just kind of roll it around that brush handle. That breaks down those fibers and makes it where it doesn't crack, hopefully. Mine hasn't so far, so we're good. There we go. So see, that makes your little top come over just like that. So that is the beginning of our folio. See how quick that comes together? Now, open it back up, and this is a very, very thick cardstock. And you can see I didn't get enough glue right there, so that's trying to bubble just a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's going to be on the bottom part. It'll be fine. Go back to your little um, accordion folds here, your little pieces, and you're going to fold back and forward and back and forward. You know how to fold accordions, I am sure. So just keep going back and forward, back and forward, and then I give it a good press with my bone folder. Just like that. So there's what we have. Back and forward, back and forward on the second one. Okay, 
now you want to take your score tape, some type of tape that is really strong, and you want to put it on both ends of your little accordion here. So a piece there, flip it around, and we're going to put a piece down here. And I'm using quarter inch score tape, so. Once you get that on there, it's just a matter of putting this down. So take the backing off of one end. Now this little lip is going to need to go just like this. So you see how I have that there? Okay. It's going to need to lay down just like that. So this is the way I do it, but you do it the easiest way that you, you know, whatever's easiest for you. I start just above that score line on, on this end and right at the edge and then I just run it down the edge just like that. So there is that one. So your accordion goes out that way and that's the way you want it to. Then you're going to go ahead and take the backing off of the next side. Put it with your little lip pointing in, and I fold mine back up so I can hang on to it, and then I put it, whoops, let me see, maybe running it backwards by flipping it, okay, I think I got it now, put it right up there, just like that, so both of our accordions go out this way, that's what you want, now you're ready to take this top side off, and glue this down. Let's take this off. And I just take one side off at a time. And I'll take them both. And then you just want to make sure that this bottom, that is kind of squared off before you press that down. And then just press that down. Like that. So there's the one side. And then just go to the other one. And again, just make sure that's squared up. I kind of hold it up to the side so I can see it. And then glue that down. So there is your little accordion pocket. It's nice to put money in, gift cards, just whatever. It's nice and neat. And now we're going to do a little bit of stamping. I've got a stamp here from one of our stamp sets that we got a couple of years ago. And this is from the Prima. And it's just called Planner Accessories. And these are small enough that you can put on little things like this. I have punched a couple of these little tag. I guess they're name tags, whatever. And this is an old Stamp It Up uh, punch. So we're going to stamp on this one, and this just says, love is in the air. I'm going to use some VersaFine ink, and try to stamp that somewhat in the center. Hold it for a second, and there we go. And then this is going to glue down to that. And I'm going to glue this a little bit at an offset, just so that it looks like that I have got two different sizes of that little die, which I don't. They're both the same size, but if you glue it a little bit at an offset, it looks like it. Gives the impression that there is anyway. Then we'll put a couple of little pieces of bling on here on either end. right there. Alright, I'm going to lay that aside. Then we're going to do our belly band. And this belly band is cut at 1 inch by 8 inches. And what I did, and I've already gone ahead and done this, but it's very, very simple. 
I just took it and went down one side with my embossing tool right there. And I just put a little deep embossing. Let's see if I can get it where you can see it. There you go. I put a little deep embossing crevice in either side. Just at that first little uh, score line or score mark on your scoreboard. So I just went down through there and did that. Give it a little bit. You could always emboss this with an embossing folder. I just didn't have one that was long enough. So I did that. It just gives it a little bit extra uh, embellishment on there. And then you're going to score it at two inches, two and a half, five and five eighths, and six and one eighth. And then just go ahead and fold that over. So there is your belly band right there. Now I take. I take my little folio here and I put it around it before I glue. That way it just kind of makes sure that I'm getting it the right tightness so I don't get it too tight or too loose. You don't want it too loose but you don't want it so tight that they can't get into it either. And I just glue that together on the back. So there's the center, and see you can see those little. See if I get there. We there we go. You can see those little score lines on either side, and then I just take this and I glue it directly down. Um, right about there, just kind of looks like that's helping hold that together. And then I just take a little string, and this is just a little piece of. It's like a knitting or crocheting string that I get in a big old ball. You could use um, baker's twine, whatever to do this with. Or you could just make a little bow out of ribbon. And I just tie that and slide it down to the top of that. So it kind of looks like that's helping hold everything together too. And there you go. That is it. There's your little money wallet, uh, folio, whatever you would want to call it. There they are. Very, very simple to make. You can make two of these out of one sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock. So you can make up a bunch of these for Valentine's Day for your coworkers, your friends, family, just whomever. These would be great for um, coming up graduation, that kind of thing, to make them and hand them out at graduation. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.